That picture makes me sad. Makes you sad? Yeah. You don't have it anymore? Mm. I wish that was sitting by me. But at the time it was impossible. You bought, you bought a 310R. It's not the same though. At the time it, it physically wasn't possible. As a business we just, you know, we just didn't have the... The funds weren't there. Bailey's in a great home, like, there's, I'm not, by no means am I annoyed about that, but I love that tractor. Wouldn't matter that tractor broke down a thousand times. That tractor did a lot for us as well as a brand. But then when you do 1135 miles in one week in a tractor, you sort of get to know it, like. I, Towing a TW. <laughs> the recovery truck. That tractor travelled every county in Ireland in six days. It drove to the Welsh show, it drove to the Highland show, it drove to Oxford, and it drove home again. Did I? Not sure. many tractors, I'll tell you, there's not many tractors in the British Isles in Ireland that has just been to every corner like that. <laughs> I, I wouldn't imagine. If, anybody, if anybody's done as much driving in the tractor, come back to us. Yeah. David Walson's man. <laughs> oh, I lost too. David Walson's man, I. <laughs> there may be worse. <laughs> you have a dirty lorries. <laughs> you're only playing at it. <laughs> <laughs> I know they're doing it for a living. <laughs> no, um, the 315 New Holland was uh, at, at, at the stage of which Grassman was a massive thing when we were trying our best to give a bit back and wanting to do you know, a bit of charity work and get a new concept up and running and like the raffle into the tractors and stuff and like there wasn't many raffles and things at that like you should look at it now. We're not the first people to do a raffle but we're most definitely up there with the first people to drive it the way we did with the like, I suppose that, that tractor was there to support the TW. You know, built in the UK, coming with the Michelin Axio bib tires. She had a bit of weight about her, a bit of presence about her, a bit of size about her. She was she was unlike anything we'd had before. Aye, she was quite unique at that time. I suppose yeah. the HDs weren't that long on the go. And no, and when you put that on to those big B1000 mowers, there wasn't many people running a, a tractor like that on them. They were trying to run them on smaller tractors in, in theory. And we just found it, the way it was weighted, the grip coming off those tyres, how they worked. Just everything, just unbelievable. And after a little bit of time, I started to get comfortable with her, even on that big trailer. But I do. I look back now, and I'm like, I don't even know what fueled me to get through that. But that wasn't simple. I suppose the thing sticks out in my head about the three one five is the Bailey. You know, it's the tractor was dedicated to Bailey Morrow, and like that's why she's special. You know, I yeah, guess. I suppose that's, well, that's kind of what it was meaning when I said if she broke down yeah. a thousand times, it wouldn't matter. Yeah, and but you've never bucked right with anything even since that had the genuinely had the push and the drive of that thing. A serious ability that way, you know, like and I just look at that and there's like wee hearts come into the middle of my eyes, you know. I <laughs> from the John Deere man. Yeah. Huh? I would replace the 310 for that. But I would have to be that one. Oh, it'd have to be that one, or else I would have bought a 315. <laughs> that one. Only that one. Only What's that she one. doing now? That's her in her new home in uh, Wiltshire. As you can see, it's absolutely beautiful out behind that, and she is running on a baler. I think maybe a new baler was bought last year. We did go out and we did make a lovely video and we um, caught up with Bailey and we got a wee drive and out in that field there it was just basically the same process as we were doing Aye, yeah, with the 310 yeah. r yeah. chipping or whatever Aye. we would call it, yeah, chipping yeah, the ground, the... just to germinate the seeds and it was just running up and down there with absolute ease, although I'm I dare, sure say, I dare say Big Henry would run up and down beside her with absolute ease. I'm sure they're probably about the same power. We did do know that, we did with big Andrew Collier. That's right, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The legend that is Andrew. That was a good day too, enjoyed that day. To be fair, that tractor went to the absolute great dealership, uh, TH White. 
They Fella. used her at their demo day and as well. We used her at their demo day. I went over and spent a bit of time mm. with Andrew and got one last wee official goodbye. Pat Smith was the, the name of the, the gentleman that was the director or in charge of TH White at the time. Pat then used the tractor for his own wedding. That tractor didn't just mean something to me at the time. It meant something to the whole brand. She came as a support act, but I would say she kind of would... She stood out for herself to the finish of the Absolutely. whole thing, Absolutely. you know. Absolutely.